Hello everyone and welcome back to this course on implementing high availability solutions with Windows Server 2019. We are in section 5 of the course and in this video we are going to enable storage spaces direct on our cluster using Windows PowerShell. So let's get on to the lab and get started. So the process of uh, enabling S2D is basically done from uh, PowerShell. So let me just uh, get out of uh, failover manager here. But before we do this, I have to um, let you know that for Windows Server 2019, there's a catch with S2D. It is not enabled by default. What you need to do to basically work around this issue or uh, bypass this issue is you need to add a particular registry key to all of your clustered nodes. So in order to do that, let me just enter a PS session on uh, the first node on uh, S2D1. And I'm going to paste this commandlet here, which basically adds the necessary registry key to this node. Okay, let me exit PS session. I am going to enter again on S2D2 because basically we need to do this on all the nodes in order for S2D to work. Okay, uh, exit PS session, enter PS session as to the three, add the registry key, exit the PS session, enter on S to D four, add the registry key, and exit the PS session. And now we are ready to enable um, S2D on our cluster. I'm not going to do it remotely because uh, I've encountered some issues. So I will enter again a PS session on one of our uh, nodes. And uh, I'm going to go with S2D1. Uh, okay. And the commandlet is just enable cluster s2d i'm going to run this commandlet now and this will uh, bring uh, up the s2d of course we uh, have some warnings here and some errors regarding the uh, cluster eligibility these are again for the uh, drives which are basically not eligible to the uh, S2D enabled, right? If we go back to cluster manager here and we go to pools, it hasn't refreshed yet, but we should shortly find our first pool available for S. Now, uh, refreshing again. If we go to pools here, we can see that the cluster pool number number one is um, available here and it is uh, formed out of uh, several physical uh, drives that we've added to our cluster and that as our SATA drives. Now we will use this cluster to further carve out uh, the necessary storage for our uh, virtual machines that we'll be hosting in this uh, cluster. So I will see you guys in the next video where we'll configure and optimize clustered shared volumes. I hope this has been informative for you and thank you for watching.